Hey guys, what's up? It's that Madden Gamer here, back at it again with an episode of the Understar Podcast. Today we're here with the Understar Podcast, episode 21. I called it yesterday when I released my podcast talking about the Tyra Williams and... Well, I wasn't talking about Tyra Williams. I was talking about Josh Hill and the Romeo Cora contract and like a lot of free agency stuff, a lot of cuts. And I said the Lions are gearing up to either trade or sign somebody. And they made a trade last night and they signed somebody last night. I called it. I said they'd be active more on Wednesday and Thursday and they would be Monday and Tuesday. They were active. They signed Jamal Williams two years, seven and a half million dollars. Phenomenal, phenomenal value for a guy who's really going to be a number one running back in a lot of NFL teams. And for us, he's going to be our number two, probably the DeAndre Swift. I'm excited to see how Anthony Lynn uses him in our offense. Um, but a great number two, phenomenal number two running back, phenomenal. Catches the ball out of the backfield, pass protects very well. Um, can do about every single. Thing. I think he's every down back for some NFL teams. I really, I, I love Jamal Williams. I was hoping the Pittsburgh Steelers would sign some kind of a Steelers fan. Call me a bandwagon all you want. You know, my dad was a diehard Steelers fan growing up, so I'm a diehard Lions fan. I like the Steelers too, and uh, I was kind of hoping they'd look at signing him, but the Lions did, so I can't complain. Great value, great player. And uh, the other thing that happened last night while I was fast asleep was the trade for Michael Brockers. I was waiting to do this podcast until I knew the details of it, and according to Tom Pelissero or Ian Rapport, one of the two, I can't remember exactly which one. Um, it's worth a 2023 seventh round pick. You cannot beat that kind of value for an above average interior defensive line starter at five and a half sacks. He's very liable, doesn't miss very many games due to injury, if any, really, the last couple of years. Um, he's 30, he's getting paid eight and a half million this year, it's a lot of money, for sure. But, um, solid starter, a seventh round pick. I mean, you really can't beat that kind of value. The Rams had to move him to get rid of this contract. And we're just taking out all the Rams' bad contracts, which I don't really love. But at the same time, I mean, I think we need to attack the draft more than we attack um, free agency. So I'm very happy with taking a minimalistic free agency approach and just really attacking all of our needs of the draft. Building a need for a backup running back, or RB2, I guess you'd call him, because he's not really a backup. He's going to play a lot, Jamal Williams. And then Michael Brockers as starting interior defensive linemen. So our interior defensive line will probably look like Deshaun Hand, Michael Brockers, John Pinasini, Nick Williams. Um, Edge, I told about, talked, to, talked about that yesterday. Trey Flowers, uh, Julian Okora, Romeo Okora, Austin Bryant. Good, strong rotation. You got guys like Kevin Strong who rotates in, in the interior as well. I'm forgetting some guys, obviously. But um, I, honestly, I don't want to sound like I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, but I'm a huge fan of what Brad Holmes has done this his first couple weeks as a GM. I love the signings he's made so far. I don't necessarily love the Brockers trade because you're taking on a, a big contract, but his cap hit does go down significantly if we cut him next year. So I guess it's not a huge deal. You can cut your losses. But a seventh round pick, you really can't beat that kind of value. So guys, um, I'll keep it short today. Thank you for watching this, listening to this podcast, watching whatever you're doing right now. Please like and subscribe if you're new. If you're a Lions fan, if you're a fan of Madden, um, my name is that Madden Gamer. Um, I'm looking for a new Madden series to start on the channel. Um, if you guys think of anything, put it in the comments down below. But if not, I'm going to be here all off season with these Under Center podcasts. And you're seeing two to, tw- to 20 minutes, really, just kind of talking about the Lions. And uh, so if you're interested in that, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. This is That Madden Gamer saying peace out.